Hi everybody, we are at Tom George's yard today. This lad is black op and we're here to see what the yard has to offer. See his fantastic string of horses and this is the first in a string of yard visits for gg.co.uk. There's some exciting content coming up, so stay tuned. He is very understanding of the way that racing yards work nowadays where it's quite rare to get full-time staff, so he allows people such as myself to ride out part-time kind of on the lots and the days that really suit us. So he has very much an understanding of the way that people work nowadays and he kind of works around us in that sense. Fortunate enough to train plenty of grade one horses and is always just looking forward to the next one next one coming and um, arriving on the scene here. I'd need to have that to be looking forward to. I'm afraid I've got that as you know, my overall target. And the first, the lads and staff start arriving at um, 7. Well, 6.30 probably more of that. Then 7 o'clock the first lot goes out in the morning. And then we're watching the horses all morning in between doing further declaration entries and all the rest of it. And then in previous years, you'd be shooting off the races after you've done your sort of halfway through the morning you'll be on, on the way to the races but it's all changing a bit at the moment so it's not so much travelling involved at present which makes probably life a little bit easier. Yeah, on the whole I would just train each horse as they are. Um, we have a sort of ballpark figure of what they do from when they come in out of the fields and we've got a sort of regime we stick to and we know within reason they won't be too far away but we can do a few little things to get them ready if we really need them to be if that is our first big target but I wouldn't be doing it with everyone you know it just depends on situation with each horse is in. I had the odd one in the back of my mind, um, which thing, but I wouldn't be sort of sitting down saying, right, this is going for this, this, this and this. But I have, it's, just, it's always up being updated in the back of the mind as the year starts and I know the odd one who would go there. I'm, last year was probably more difficult for me than anything because I always miss quite charting with quite a few horses and I've always done well at Aintree over the years. Yeah, delighted with Bundoran. Um, he had a nice race last time at Cheltenham in what was Peterborough Chase, which should have been run around Huntington. Didn't quite get home, which I always had in the back of my mind. He might not, but we just needed to see it. He'll go back over two miles. He won a grade two last season. Um, Desert Orchid Chase at Kempton. Black Op um, actually ran, I thought, a pretty solid race in the King George. He just had a little bit of a flat spot, sort of halfway. Not far off, a couple of legs behind Santini, which he, which is probably about right for him. Um, we might just put a pair of um, cheap pieces on him. He just just to sharpen him up a bit, but I'm sure there's still a very big day in him. Yeah, Sunville um, won his listed race at the start of the season at um, Aintree, and he's very close to being the top grade over um, long distance hurdles and two mile hurdles. He's probably about six lengths behind the best at both those levels, but if we could have a Ryanair over hurdles, I don't think there'd be too many better than them. Clondor Castle. Yeah, he's a horse um, we've had from day one, ran his bumpers for us, and he's really progressing now. He's had a great season so far, and I say he's still on an upward curve, and I don't think it'd be too far from him ending up in the graded races.